The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Okay, uh, congratulations again to the Eagles, uh, to Jeffrey Lurie and uh, everybody back in Philadelphia who I know enjoying this game. Uh, what an amazing turnaround for this organization. Uh, as you all know, they finished uh, last in the NFC East uh, last year, and to turn around and win the Super Bowl is an incredible achievement. Uh, Coach Peterson, who uh, I think is one of those great leaders who uh, demonstrated that throughout the year and overcoming adversity and leading his team through that uh, is one of only eight coaches to win the Super Bowl in the first two seasons, which is uh, truly a remarkable uh, achievement. So, Coach, congratulations. Come on up. Uh, the ball was a trophy. Lombardi trophy. Do this. Yeah. This, this one. Well, you, let's do this one. I like this one. You can pick it up if you want it. It's yours. <laughs> Good morning. No questions. I like it. Hey, Doug. Uh, you had a little bit of time to reflect. Uh, not much. Not much. Um, you guys did this without superstars, without Hall of Famers. Uh, does that make it special? And is, do you think that's one of the reasons this team bonded so so well? Because there were no superstars. I do. Uh, I think this team is full of uh, great character men. Um, you know, it wasn't about one individual. Uh, as I kept saying to the team, uh, you know, this entire season, particularly these last couple of months. And, and I just, uh, you know, the leadership of the locker room, uh, you know, part of the part of the messaging this season was was putting it back on the players. You know, um, the players own it. The players uh, own their own their jobs, own their responsibilities and 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 not help not having, you know, selfish coaches and selfish players uh, gives you a chance to, to win this game. Doug, you mentioned previously how after the regular season you went back and looked at Nick Foles' film, what he did well, what made him comfortable. Looking back now, how crucial was that week or two-week period to get him ready for the postseason? Well, it was, uh, it was definitely a uh, you know, valuable experience to go back and just kind of watch Nick and, and understand you know, what, uh, uh, what clicked with him and, and what made him successful a couple years ago. And, you know... Um, Change is good. Uh, we didn't have to tweak a, a lot of the offense, but at the same time, wanted to make sure we had, you know, plays and and uh, ideas and concepts in the game plan that he was comfortable in, in executing and, and 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 running and 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 so it was uh, it was a uh, you know um, had a lot of conversation with Nick, you know, during that period and and then it was just a matter of him spending time with the guys. You know, uh, it was going to take time. It was going to take. You know, repetition in practice. He missed a lot of training camp, obviously, with the guys, and and then of course when when Carson's playing, he misses the regular season reps. So um, we knew in the building that uh, we were going to be okay with him. Uh, we just needed time. Doug, was there a moment after all the uh, the excitement and the celebrations when you kind of sat down and let it sink in? And what were your thoughts when when you finally realized what you had accomplished? Well, it really hasn't uh, sunk in completely yet. Um, you know, I can remember back even uh, as a player winning this game and, and what, it, uh, what it felt like, what it meant. But I think, I think it's just a little more special uh, waking up today, uh, knowing that you've um, accomplished something that you set out way back in, in April. Uh, and really when, when I was hired two years ago, when Mr. Lurie uh, um, you know, hired me in Philadelphia, that this is the game that, that we wanted to uh, eventually be in and play in and, and, and win and um, I know it's going to take some time but but uh, you know it's it's kind of surreal right now um, these next these next few days are going to be a little crazy we got a lot to do still but um, just excited for the guys and, and uh, we'll remember this uh, the rest of our lives 
Uh, Doug, you were, uh, Nick was asked if he looked at himself any differently after going through this process the last month or so. And you've been around him a long time. You're here, your first time here, you're with him, and you've been with him since spring here every day. Do you look at him any differently? Because as much as you might think you know a guy, when you get on this size stage and he still performs through, do you, do you look at him any differently, or are you going to reflect on him differently as time goes by? You know, um, Nick, is, Nick has been the same guy uh, that I can remember going back when we drafted him. Nothing, he doesn't change. He does not change. Um, the things he did, you know, back then when we had him in Philadelphia to today, you know, he's just a, he's just a better quarterback today. Uh, he's a smarter quarterback today. He's a veteran quarterback today. But Nick is Nick. Is Nick Nick is who he is. I mean, you just saw up here how genuine he is. And and I have a lot of guys on that on that in that roster that are just like Nick and and very unselfish and and uh, call them role players, call them whatever you want, call them backups. Um, you know, these guys these guys helped us win this game, win this championship. And and uh, my hats off to Nick for for what he's gone through, for what he's had to ordeal, and sort of uh, you know block out. This past uh, probably two months, and uh, excited for him and his family, and well deserving. Hey Doug, can you take us through uh, what you did after we last saw you last night? And uh, at any point, did you get to have a moment with with Carson? And what was that like? Well, you know, I, I had a chance to to talk to Carson actually on the field on the podium last night after the game, and and uh, just uh, you know told him to to take this in, just enjoy this moment. Um, you know, he's a great quarterback, and, and, and he's a big reason. I, I told him, I said, you're a big, big part of why why this team won this championship and won this game. And, you know, I told him that, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully we'll be back in this game, you know, with him leading the, leading the way. Um, <clears throat> and then just after that, it was just about, you know, spending time with, with our families, um, you know, with my boys, having my boys down on the field with me, my wife on the field, my mom was here, and brothers and sister, and, just uh, you know, just reflecting, um, you know, about the game, and then spending time, you know, at the party with 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 the teammates and the players and coaches, and um, just uh, just a crazy whirlwind of a night. Hey Doug, um, I, I know you're so quick to praise all your players, but as a coach, when you have this many key players go down throughout the season, all this adversity, how how trying is it um, as a coach? Um, it's tough. It's tough. It's uh, it's uh, it's um, uh, it's something that you 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 spend a lot of time uh, thinking about how you wanna how you wanna how you wanna talk to the team, how you wanna present your messaging to the team. How is the team gonna buy into um, losing as many starters as we as we did this season? And and um, you know, and really, again, it was part of just uh, entrusting the players a little bit. Um, you know, uh, great, great leadership, you know, with some of the veteran players and and uh, uh, just allowing them to sort of embrace it and next man up mentality. And and uh, just as coaches, uh, hats off to my coaching staff for, for preparing our guys, getting our guys ready uh, each week. And, um, you know, it didn't matter who was in there. We were going to coach them up and and uh, get them ready to play. Hey, Doug, uh, you mentioned last night you knew you had to have a touchdown on that last drive uh, where Ertz got into the end zone. How frustrating was it, and did you and Jim Schwartz uh, have a lot of spirited discussions about the fact that the Patriots scored a touchdown every time they had the ball in the second half until the, the final two minutes? Well, it wasn't frustrating when we scored the touchdown, um, and... and uh, I mean, we knew, and I knew that we were going to have to. We were going to have to score. We were going to have to score. And a field goal wasn't going to, uh, you know, wasn't going to do us any good, obviously. And um, listen, it, it's it's part of the part of the ebb and flow of a game. It's going to happen that way. Uh, you know, you're going to be in you're going to be in a game where either the offense is struggling, defense is struggling, maybe special teams is struggling, um, and you just keep fighting. You just keep you just keep throwing punches and and. Uh, you know, you just you battle to the end. It's always a 60-minute game with with uh, with the Patriots, and you know that's how I challenge the team uh, before the game at halftime that uh, that we got to continue to play. And um, you know that last couple minutes of that game, challenging the defense that you know everything you got, everything you got, and uh, we got the you know we got the strip sack, the fumble, 
um, and and then obviously the uh, you know the last play. So um, hats off to everybody. Uh, it was a great team effort. Two more. Doug, uh, obviously our fathers are such an influence in our lives. Nick mentioned that. Uh, when you came to the Eagles during that period of time, you lost your dad. Uh, how much did you think about your dad uh, after the game and what it would have meant to him? Yeah, you know, I did think about him, you know, having my mom here. and um, You know, he'd be, he'd be so excited. Uh, I remember just... You know, all the sort of the brow beatings I took from him, you know, through athletics and, and uh, life lessons that sports can, can, can teach us and um, the good and the bad. And, and uh, I know he'd be, he, you know, I know he is smiling and, and, and looking down on us and um, looking down on me and very happy and very proud, obviously. And, and I, you know, I miss him, but, uh, um, you know, this would have been a special moment to have, to have, have him here. Last question. Hi, Coach. Congratulations. Thank um, you. I know you haven't had much an opportunity to think about this at this point, but is, is Carson Wentz still your starting quarterback? Will you have an open competition in training camp? Can a Super Bowl MVP go back to being a backup? I knew I couldn't get off this stage without that question. <laughs> you know what? Um, we're just going to enjoy this moment. I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to get on this plane, go back to Philadelphia. We're going to celebrate with our fans back in Philly. Uh, we got a long off season. Well, really a short off season now. Um, we're just going to enjoy this moment, you know. Um, I'm happy for Nick. I'm happy for the team. It's not about one guy, you know. It's about the team, and and uh, you know, like I said, we're we're gonna we're gonna enjoy we're gonna enjoy these next uh, next few days. And I do want to say again, thank you to uh, to Minneapolis, uh, to to the the host city. Uh, we had a great time here. Our fans, um, our players, our coaches. Um, just uh, hats off to everybody. A lot of hard work, and and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you.